are you consuming books? Yes. Are you are you reading and listening to yeah. things every day? All right, what sort of books do you listen to? Uh, so I have a few that I've started, a few that's kind of sitting in my shelf. Mm. I've read Twelve Rules for Life. Jordan Peterson. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Atomic Habits. Okay, good one. I, About habit stacking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I started Rich Dad Poor Dad, but I kind of just stopped halfway. Well, that's Still like going. a that's like a, a <laughs> classic. Yeah. That's that's sort of like. You, our parents generations book, yeah right yeah um good one about mindset and to sort of like you know wake you up a little bit yeah um a lot of people get stuck in that poor dad mindset mm-hmm. that's that's really what it's all about like that fearful scarcity mindset mm-hmm. and so uh, i think that's an incredible book you should yeah. read if you're having mindset issues yeah um which it sounds like you kind of are yeah uh, <laughs> at least to a certain degree yeah right? um definitely you know, demolish that book, get it, get it out of the way. Yeah. You know, it doesn't take that long, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's because I got distracted. You know, when I, you start reading, you're like, oh, maybe I'll start another book and I'll come back to this book. So I've mm. read like all the Harry Potter books before I've finished that one book. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, well, exactly right. If you're yeah. interested in it, you'll actually, yeah. you'll actually do it, right? Yeah. Force yourself to be interested. Yeah. Right? Are you, do you, do you, do you want to be successful in life? Yeah, 100%. Is that, is that like a, a desire for you? I think success in that I want to be successful enough to support my parents in the future. Love that. Yeah. There's there's no bigger goal yeah. than helping your family, right? Yeah. That should pull you. Yeah. That's a, that's a big why. That's a massive why. That was the exact same why I had. Yeah. Um, I saw my mom struggling, and you know, uh, always stressing out about money, not being able to afford things, always crying, mm-hmm. you know, going through just, you know, during, during a very messy divorce. So mm-hmm. I, um, my why became, you know, this like inferno mm-hmm. that I could just tap into at any time for motivation mm-hmm. or for, you know, persistence and discipline. So um, when you're feeling that, that sort of, you know, complacency, think of your why, tap, tap back into that. And apply yourself. Yeah, uh, it's not meant to be easy. Yeah, uh, there's there's an awesome book about it called uh, Mastery by Robert Greene. I've mentioned it in other podcasts, mm-hmm. but uh, it's, it talks about dedicating yourself and applying yourself over a very long period of time in the mindset that you've actually got to have. Yeah. Um, and uh, the the discomfort that comes with trying to learn and grow, uh, because you're always putting yourself in that state of shit, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like a real amateur at this. Mm. Um, but that's how all experts start. They start off as amateurs. But um, what masters are really good at or what they were really good at is uh, deciding to constantly put themselves in that state of discomfort. Yeah. So you've got to put yourself in that state of discomfort and not read about Hermione and Ron, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and focus on actually yeah. building your future, yeah, uh, so that you can help your family and help your your friends, which mm. is the ultimate goal for me, and I love that it's the ultimate goal yeah. for you as well. Um, there's another great book called The Ten X Rule. Have you heard of it? Yes, I have. Have you read it? No, it's in my list to buy. Okay. Yeah, I have a few books before we head on. I have Principles by Ray Dalio. Nice, great. One. Um, Forty Eight Laws of Power. Mm-hmm. I have The Power of Now by Ed Hart Toll. I haven't read that one. Yeah. Mm. Um, I have Ikigai. Like, I have a lot of random books. Ikigai. Ikigai. It's about, I think the Japanese have a kind of like a guideline they follow mm. for pure happiness. Okay. So, that book as well, Surrounded by Idiots, have that book. Mm. Um, uh, the Intelligent Investor yeah, that's by Warren a great Buffett. One. Yeah, yeah, that was a very that's big tough. book. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. Uh, there's a simpler one um, called The Warren Buffett Way, mm-hmm. um, which I'd recommend you read first. Yeah. Uh, Warren Buffett Way is, um, you know, the, the intelligent investor is all about numbers yeah. and, you know, reading a, a, a balance sheet mm-hmm. and understanding the annual reports that they're submitting and it gets really granular. Yeah. Uh, the Warren Buff- Buffett Way is more conceptual mm-hmm. um, and speaks more about value based investing. Uh, as opposed to looking at like, you know, the share price every day. It's yeah. more so, you know, really long term. Uh, is there value? I, I, you're essentially becoming an investor in the business, a partner in the business. Yeah. So if you like that investment sort of stuff and you're having a hard time to, uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, really conceptualize the intelligent investor because it's yeah. hard read. Have you read it? 
I looked through it. I skimmed through it and I was like, that's a lot of numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go the Warren yeah. Buffett way first. And then only if you're interested and you're like, holy shit, this is cool. I want to learn the yeah. next step. It actually recommends the intelligent investor in the Warren Buffett mm -hmm. way. So start with that book. Yeah. Uh, do you do you listen to the books or do you read them? I read them. Okay. Yeah, because I prefer I prefer reading. I get too distracted just listening. I'm I'm the opposite. I get too distracted reading. Um, <laughs> I find myself being able to to pay attention uh, to audio mm -hmm. or videos. Like I, I literally looked at my phone uh, this morning and it was like my my daily screen times fourteen hours. <laughs> fourteen <laughs> hours. The moment I wake up till I go to sleep, I'm consuming content, mm -hmm. uh, but the right content. Uh, and the other good thing about audiobooks is you, there's there's a whole bunch of dead time, mm -hmm. um, you know, driving to work, cleaning, yeah. uh, washing your car, whatever it may be, going for a walk where you can't necessarily read, but you can still be consuming the content. So yeah. uh, try and try and you know everyone learns differently, but at least for me it was audiobooks. Yeah, for you might be reading. Yeah, I try both. Good, give it a go. Yeah. All right. What 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 questions do you have for me? So first one's about being consistent, like mm. consistency. Um, that's a real challenge for me. Like some, I have days where I can't get out of bed and I have no made motivation to do anything, even though I know I need to do this. It's mm. just like mentally, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this. So what is one thing that you've learned that could kind of make that better? For me, I've never had a problem <laughs> with right. being consistent mm -hmm. and being reliable and dedicated. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. It's because I've always been so fearful of failing. I never wanted to fail. I've always had this burning desire in me, um, like this complex that like, I know I can achieve more. I know I can be someone. I know I can be successful. Um, and it's, it's like a, it like almost torments you, mm -hmm. you know, it torments you into action. Uh, and that's something, you know, I'm very lucky to, to have had uh, from a very young age. And I think that was instilled in me, um, just, you know, through mentors, uh, seeing them apply, seeing the lifestyle they live, um, seeing how they support their families. And I wanted a piece of that. Um, you know, if you want to eat, you have to first hunger. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be very hungry for it. Um, and that's what I had, I had, I had hunger. So, uh, the question you have to ask yourself is, you know, if you're finding yourself, and this is this goes out for everyone, if you're finding yourself struggling to be dedicated to something or be consistent to something, are you hungry for it? Are you really, is that really your ultimate desire? Uh, because if you're just talking about it and it's like one of those things where like, yeah, I wish I had that, but hey, wait, are you actively working towards it? Yeah. Are you actually pushing yourself every single day? Is it the only thing you can think of? If it's the only thing you can think of every single day, you'll apply yourself and there's no excuse. Um, but if you're not and you're comfortable with being average mm. and, you know, you're willing to sacrifice your long-term plans for short-term instant gratification, that's when you're not disciplined. It's all in the head. Yeah, It's literally just all on you. Uh, there's no trick. Mm -hmm. There's no like, oh, okay. Th there's there's a million and one different tricks. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> you can do it. Like, okay, three, two, one, I'm going to do it. You know, yeah. you can't, whatever it is. There's, mm -hmm. there's a million different ways to trick yourself. Yeah. Or habit stack, mm -hmm. you know, like habit stacking is a perfect example of yeah. something that should teach you how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, which is like, okay, uh, as soon as I wake up, I'm going to do this. And you yeah. do that consistently for a week. You go to the gym every single morning. Okay, yeah. great. After I go to the gym, I'm going to read a book for 15 minutes. Okay. Now, now you're stacking habits. Mm -hmm. I, I know that every single time I wake up, I go to the gym and then I read for 15 minutes. Okay. Now I'm going to go, you know, do meditation or now I'm going to, you know, get into work. Now you start stacking habits. So there's ways to do it. There's tools yeah. you can use. Right. Yeah. But if the desire is not there, mm. uh, you know, what's the point? Yeah. What's the point? It's like you need the fuel, you need the motivation so that you can actually do that. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that short clip from the podcast, feel free to watch more of them by clicking here. And if you want the full podcast, click here.